big moment here. Oh, guys, we're going to start with three breaths up. Hello. Three breaths up. Yep, thank you. Thanks, Karen. I'm just, for some reason, this is, there it is. Okay, three breaths up. Ooh. And exhale. Oh my gosh, feels good to get some blood flow in the morning. And I heard it's 30 some degrees there, so we'll warm up those little bones. Take your hands on your thighs. Now round and lift there, Cheryl. And round. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> and lift. And exhale. And inhale. Good. And then we'll drop a shoulder and just think about, oh my goodness, stretching that back, stretching those hips, inhaling and exhaling, getting that body warmed up. Ooh, dropping the shoulder, dropping another, and you're turning to, you're adding a little rotation. And then you're gonna come back up. Notice how I am standing like a little, um, uh, sumo wrestler, <laughs> a big sumo wrestler. So go down and up and just sort of wake up. It's almost like you're pulling a cable. Wake up those ankles, wake up those knees. And two. Now stay here, good. And then we're gonna leave the arms out and just shift. So take eight, seven, six, five, and notice how you might get bigger as you get warmed up. Now go forward and back, and it's almost like you're hugging this big sequoia tree. Five, four, three, two, hi Ellen, and one. And then we're gonna go around. So make it a big circle. It's almost like you're um, stirring a pot, like a Halloween witch's brew. Big circle, move your ribs, and then go the other way. This is rib dance, so you're getting all these core muscles warmed up and work. Two, and one. Now we're gonna go all the way up, Walk those little feet in. Inhale, lift up your heels. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up your heels. And exhale, lower. And up and lower. And now we're gonna fine tune it. Imagine you have a tennis ball between your ankles so your ankles don't push out. They're uh, tracking so that you feel each of your toe heads has equal weight. The pinky toe won't have any more weight than the first toe. If anything, the second toe has a little more weight. Go knee soft, knee soft, knee soft, knee soft. And then notice that your abs, you need them to keep your low back in a normal curve so that it doesn't get overly curved. Two more. One more. Now we're gonna lift and spread your toes, open up to the side, and it's a balance and a hip abductor strengthener. Two, three, and point and flex. Six, point and flex. Seven, eight, nine, you can get bigger if you'd like. 10, and then 10 calf raises, 10. We're gonna mix it up, nine, with those moves, eight, Seven this is also good for vessel health. Good. Let's do five, four, oops. I don't mean to drop my heels so fast, so if you can control it better than I can, sometimes I'm dropping too fast. Two, one, now other side. It's a expansion, like a star. Now we're gonna add on point and flex. If you want it harder, try to keep that foot off the floor the whole time. Breath with movement, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna put those moves together. So it's gonna be one calf, uh, both heels lift, calf raise, lower, and then one side. Leg, heels lift, lower, side leg. And heels, lower, hi Marty, and lower. Lift up the heels, lower, open up. So what you're doing is memorizing a new pattern. And with exercise, we know that memorizing new patterns are good to help prevent cognitive decline. Now give it a little more range of motion as you feel warmed up. Big heels, big heels. <laughs> 
I forgot it. <laughs> heels, one more, heels. Now we're gonna go out a little bit. Take a squat with your heels being heavy. A squat with your heels being heavy. A squat with your heels being heavy. And two. All right, now we're gonna add on a heel, excuse me, a side leg, and then a heel heavy squat. A side leg and a heel heavy squat. Side leg abduction, heel heavy. Inhale and exhale, you got it. So it's four, heel heavy. You can go lower than me if you want. Three, heel heavy. Two, squat. One, squat. And then take those legs like a little V and we're gonna go up and point and flex. Now I'm gonna call it dégagé, but as you warm up that leg, you might be able to go higher and make it a bolt mall, which is big kick. Four, either way, five, you're building strength in this hip. Six, seven, and you're trying to keep that foot off the ground if you can. Eight, if you want more challenge. Nine, point and flex. 10, now the other side, I'm gonna switch that foot. Here we go, up and back good two and your back is up against an imaginary wall three you might get higher four as you get warmed up five six at an element of grace seven eight beautiful nine and ten now open up the arms we're going to take the same first position we're gonna cross the midline and watch how I point and flex, point and flex, and flex. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the leg. So now we're switching it. Ten, two. Point, flex, four, five, to make it harder, your foot stays off the floor, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the hands are going to go behind, lift and spread your toes, take your right foot off the floor, and notice how you're hinging. You're not going to make it very aggressive, it's still kind of early in the class. Just a diagonal. Now lift your right leg up and down. 10, 9, 8. I'm going to look at you. 7. Good, Cheryl. 6. Nice. 5. Good. 4. Good, Catherine. 3, 2, 1. That foot comes down. If you're interlaced, switch which way the hands are interlaced. The other pinky's down on the outside. And we're going to hinge diagonally. Lift up. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful job. And we're going to go down to a down dog. Lift up your arms. Exhale, bring your hands down. Take those feet back. Now walk it out, right and left, right and left. And this is an opportunity that if you need a sip to grab a sip, this is an opportunity if you need to adjust your camera a little bit, you can. Your calves, you're checking in with, how are they today? We just worked them a lot, especially if you got here as soon as class started. So drop those heels for a moment. And it's almost like you're trying to lift your toes. If you're flexible enough that your heels are on the ground, you can lift your toes. And five, four, three, two. Now let your left foot give your right heel its attention. You lift your sit bone a little bit and just kind of shake out your neck if you have any tension there. Five, four, three, two. Now let's take that left foot down and put your right foot on that left heel. And sometimes one leg is tighter. Five, just see what you feel like a friendly witness 
a friendly observer to your body. Three, two, both heels down, adding on your elbows come down. This is the dolphin in yoga, hold here. Five, four, three, two, and then we're going to walk the feet back further. Your elbows can even walk forward and just come into a plank, whole plank. What you'll do is verify that your forearms are very strong on the floor. That way your shoulder blades are flat on the back. You're making sure your low back doesn't droop. Your knees are strong and long. You can energetically pull your arms towards your feet, your feet towards your arms. That's an isometric contraction. Five more, four more, three, Two, rest your pelvis, let your feet go. Now, at this point, you're in a sphinx, which you can stay. As you're ready, peel up, up, up. Now, relax your neck and hold. Cobra, swan, and Pilates. Good, neck is soft. Five, elbows point towards the floor. Four, three, two, Good, good, good. Lower your spine. Let your legs come up and hold. Both of them are off the mat. The knees are off. 10. Neck is soft. 8. 6. 3. Now we're going to put those together. Lower your legs. Lift up your back and then let your hands assist you. Exhale, lower. Keep going. I'm going to move away from the wall a little bit. Then the legs go up. Lower the legs, lift up your back, let your hands assist you. Exhale, lower. This is so good for posture. Lift up your thighs. Lower your thighs, lift up your back, and let your hands assist you. Add the breath with the movement. Keep going. I'm just talking for a minute. Keep doing your movement. Add the breath with the movement. Let your breath, natural rhythm, dictate the movement. Back body strengthening. Front body opening, which is usually the exact opposite of what we do in our daily task. So that's why it's so helpful for posture. Find a position, hold. Neck is soft. You can close the eyes or soften them to go inside. Keep feeling that belly pull in. You have activity on the back body, but you aren't over. You're making sure you don't over contract the glutes. With your inhale, lengthen. With your exhale, lower down. Terrific, Push, uh, curl your toes under and see if you can push into a down dog. If it doesn't quite happen, get there any way you can. Walk it out. Let it feel so good. Both heels press. Good. Stay here. If you can add on, lift up your left leg in a three-legged dog and just hold for five counts. Five, four, three, two. Lower your left foot, lift up your right leg in a three-legged dog and hold for five counts. Good, five, nice, four, neck is soft, three, two, Lower your foot, take an inhale. Now shift your weight. You're in a plank for a moment. Drop down to your elbows and pause. Either stay here or do the same type of movement, three, uh, three pointed plank. Lift up your right foot if you're adding on and hold for five, four, three, two. Lower your right foot, lift up your left leg if you're adding on, five, Make sure the head isn't drooping. Four, three, good. Rest anytime you need to, Karen. Two, anyone, yeah. Lower the foot, feet. You've got plank, hold five, plank. Four, three, two. Come back to the pelvis being on the floor. Drop the feet. You're in a sphinx or you're pushing your hands up. Anytime you need to rest during the sequences, please do. I like that you're taking ownership of your body. Pulling your belly in and lowering yourself down. Now the hands go underneath your head. We're going to pull the belly up from the floor like there's a piece of ice. 
lift up your left leg all by itself. Now it should be a lot higher than when you tried to do two-legged lift earlier. Lower and lift up your other leg all by itself. Higher, 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 but without strain. And then lower, lift up your single leg. We're alternating legs and we're just, um, I have to do it slowly sometimes at first to focus so I don't just go into some old habit or momentum. So lengthen your leg and lift it up, up, up. And usually keep going. Usually you can go a little higher than you thought with that extra focus. Focus on the leg that's lifting, feel the inner hamstring assisting, the glutes, the belly pulling in. It's as if you're pulling your leg out of your pelvis before you lift it. Keep doing this and then scan the shoulders. Are they able to relax more? Lift up. Your glute is firing, your hamstring is firing. And this helps with uh, a lot of people who have to sit for their job or drive long distances. There's a gluteal dysfunction. This is help waking up those muscles. They're helpful for the back. Let's go up four more times, four. And then let's do this three, up, 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 two. And I'm going slow because I'm focusing on that last inch or so. Long knee and up. Now we're going to lift up both legs and do a flutter kick. Imagine you're at the pool, you're holding on to a float board and you're just working your legs in flutter kick. Just holding on to the board so your booty down is the focus and flutter. 10, even faster if you can, nine, relax the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now a child's pose, push your hips back to your heels. It's a great chance to grab a sip if you need one. Five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna go into our side planks. Now inside plank, take the time to double up, hold your side plank, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now when you do lower, your hip comes down, we'll go to the other side. You can also just flip over, I'm just making sure I see you. And up with your plank, I like to triple that mat, I have three uh, mats underneath that arm. So do that if you need, 10, yep, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and then lower. Good. All right, let's go back to our side plank. Now, do you remember how we did a little leg lift? Um, we're going to do a tree as a stable one legged side plank. So if we just hold for side plank tree, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And on the one, your hip lowers as opposed to the shoulder collapsing, head to the other side. You know we're gonna be lifting up that foot in the tree. I like it on the inner thigh, but you might like it on the calf. And 10 here, nine, good, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, beautiful. Two, on the one, lower your hip with care. Very good. Now let the feet in front. We're gonna take a breather by taking 10 counts to go down. You can have your foam roller handy. So take 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, bonus option. When you're near your shoulder blades, but they're not quite touching, take 10 little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now lower your head, put your feet on top of your roller if you're adding that on, or you can just have the feet on the mat. Take your inhale, exhale, curl up and down up and down and up and down exhale and inhale and up and down and six seven eight nine stay up now when you're up make sure you're not overarching your low back we're going to do the option of 10 little pulses 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower your spine a vertebra at a time, relax your shoulders, let your legs go long, your ankles or calves are on top of the roller. So just adjust, you see I moved my roller down. Now soften your knees before you even go up. Lift up your hips and lower. Lift up your hips and lower. Your booty's coming up. Yes, that's it. You got it up and you got it. Nice. Now notice if keep going. Notice if your feet try to roll out and you want it to be pretty neutral and the feet are maybe straight up and down or, or five degrees out, but they're not excessively externally rotating. Lift up, micro bend those knees or even more if you tend to be hyper extensive. Four more up, but, but you're going to make sure you don't just plop down. You're gonna go up and you lower down. If anything, you have slower time lower down than you do on the way up. You slowly lower down, there's no plop. And then up two, slow. Go up and hold this one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower down. Now at this point, lift up your right leg. If you would like to add on, curl your shoulder blades off the mat. If you would like to add on, take your big toe with your two fingers, lift your left leg off that roller and hold. Now I wanna feel a stretch here in this hamstring, but not the knee and not the sit bone. I wanna feel like uh, at my abs are on, I'm looking towards those toes. I can even put my left hand on that thigh to kind of keep that sense of length for Got a peach. I have a pomegranate underneath my chin and my chest. Uh, I have real pomegranates here. They're not as bright red as the grocery store puts them, by the way. They're, they're sort of like uh, Virginia apples. They're sort of brownish red. I don't know why they make them so red in the grocery store, but they're beautiful. All right, lower down, take your other foot. Now this is a hamstring stretch and that's all you could do. Or you could put yourself up in the shoulder blade up position. You could hold on to the big toe. You could put your right hand on your right thigh. And now you're in an ab, uh, ab crunch and you're in a left hamstring stretch. You're, you're probably pomegranate underneath the chin. You're probably looking at those toes and any of those cues along the way you need to get rid of to modify, you can do that. Otherwise, every time you exhale, watch that belly pull in. Feel that hamstring getting longer. Feel the shoulders go down the back. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now happy baby, you can pull the knees on either side. Five, it's like a, a hamstring stretch, but with the knees bent here. A low back stretch, two, four, three, two. Now lift up both legs. And you remember how we did flutter kicks? Flutter them up here. Your abs are keeping your ribs down and that could be all you do. If you would like to add on, take your hands behind your thigh and then take your scissors, single straight leg stretch. Point your toes on this set. The modification is to do those little flutter kicks in the air. Now I'll take a second set and pull the toes back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hug your legs in. 
Now hug your right leg in all by itself and you can take your left leg long and then hug your left leg in all by itself and take your right leg long, about 45 degree angle, as long as you can keep the ribs down. But we're gonna add on, of course, lift your shoulder blades and pull the right leg in, inhale, and then exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Now we're gonna pull the toes back and we're gonna point the toes. And we're gonna pull the toes back. See how we always work with the feet. And then we're gonna point the toes. One more set, pull the toes back aggressively so we don't shuffle and relax. Head is down on the mat and just rock a little. And then come back to the feet being on the roller if you can. Your modification is feet on the floor. Lift up your spine into a bridge. Take your right ankle to your left thigh. You've got this little hip figure four stretch with one foot on the mat or the roller. Lower your booty and lift 10 times and try to open up that right knee towards the floor so you're getting a hip stretch at the same time. Four, that you're strengthening your left side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Right foot down, left ankle on the right thigh. Now feel that hip opener, lower and lift, lower and lift, inhale and exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now put the left foot down, hold, keep your feet the same, touch your knees together. Keep your feet the same, touch your knees together like you have a penny between your knees. If you would like to add on, go down and up 10 times with the knees touching, internal rotation, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you would like to add on, open the knees a little wider than your hips, external rotation. It's inhale, lower, exhale, lift, one, Two, you're feeling more outer hamstrings. Three, you're still doing bridge. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place the knees over the heels again. Lower your spine a vertebra at a time again. Take your hands to your feet. Happy baby. Oh, that should feel wonderful. And you can move a little right and left if you want. Five, four, three, Two, we're gonna add on hands to your feet. Feet touch each other, knees wide like you're a little butterfly. Your elbows can even touch your thighs and kind of add on the intensity. Five, four, three, two. Inhale and exhale. Now, the Feet are gonna be on an imaginary table. Take right leg forward and then bring it in. Left leg forward and bring it in. Right, left. Now your ribs are down and if you would like to add on, fingertips behind your head, rotate your shoulder towards your knee on the opposite side of your body. Rotation, rotation, rotation. And pull your toes back. And pull your toes back is getting a stronger tibialis anterior. That's that anti-shuffling muscle. So 10, nine. So really pull your toes back, spread them out. Five, four, three, two, point them again. Five, four, three, two, flex them again. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, hug the legs in and make as big a circles as you can with your ankles. They're both moving in big circles. Go the other way. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Spread the toes, spread the toes, spread and spread. Nice. Now this time, we're going to add on. The left leg is gonna go long. Now you can get rid of your don't, don't push it too far away, but let the roller be out of the way. You're gonna take your left leg down. I'm gonna move my mat. And you're gonna, if you need water or sip, go ahead. But we're gonna do leg circles 10 each way. 
Your leg is going to be left leg down, right leg up. Circle that thigh and keep your ribs down. If your ribs have a hard time staying on the mat, try putting a pillow underneath your head slash head shoulders. If, this, if you want this harder, let that hip come off the floor. Now go the other way. Same leg, but other way. That's right, Karen, you're gonna take a stretch after that. You can uh, lift up your leg and just spread your toes, point flex, spread your toes, point and flex, spread your legs, feel that hamstring or spread your toes, pull your leg in, inhale, and then let that right leg go down to feel a little longer, lift up the left leg, circle. And the way you make this harder if you want is you take that hip off the floor when it's going across Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we are going to go the other way and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and keep the breath. Eight, nine. Lift that left leg up and Spread the toes, point and flex. Spread the toes, point and flex. And five, four, three, two, Good, just enjoy. Feels so good to stretch the hamstrings. All right, let's take both legs up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna double my mat here. If your sacrum is bony or you just want more cushion, put that, put that mat down. And then as a unit, the legs go in a big circle. I'm going to offer the hip lift here, but make sure it's controlled. There's no, there's no slapping on the way down. It's a, um, it's a lift from the pubic bone going to the navel and your knees don't change at all. In other words, you're not kicking your legs. If you put your hand on your abs, that's what's driving the motion. Good. There's no slap of the back on the mat. Your shoulder blades are like Velcro. All right, take two more. And then hug your legs. Now I'm gonna show a modification of double leg stretch. If you know where I'm going, you can keep doing your own. You're gonna reach out your arms and your legs and then you're gonna hug your shins. You're gonna reach out your arms and your legs and you're gonna hug your shins. Now, if you wanna add on, lift up your shoulder blades and then stretch out and hug, stretch out and hug, stretch out and hug, four, three, two, one, 
and rest. You're just gonna rock a little bit right and left. Five, four, three, two, inhale. And on the exhale, now is a good time if you want your roller to put it back underneath you. We're gonna do a rolling up. Now the legs are gonna go long. Actually, let me start with a modification. So if you wanna modify basic crunch, feet on the roller, knees bent. That's your possibility. If you would like to add on, arms go long. Exhale, peel up go over and peel down. So at first I'm just gonna leave the legs long and have us do a handful. Your option, again, if you want to modify, if you'd like to modify is to have the knees bent and just enjoy the feet on the roller. It's a nice little way to keep that low back rib cage anchored. Now, if you would like to add on, bend the knees and feel the heels bringing in the roller. Now extend the legs as you go up in your uh, torso, your upper body. Good. and then bend the knees and exhale. So we know that coordinating movements and sequences with exercise helps prevent cognitive decline. So, so if you notice, just notice what your brain does when it has a new pattern and just invite that to be an opportunity to keep the brain healthy, the neural pathways. Now, when you're down, we're gonna put our legs long. Okay, so now everything's long. You're going to exhale and peel up and bend your knees. Now, if you're on the mat doing modification, you can still kind of do this in a modified place where your shoulder blades come up and that's it. Otherwise, you're coming up, you crunch, you extend. Good. All right, try three more. Inhale. And the reason the patterning works better with exercise because the brain doesn't get as much blood flow with the other organs. So this helps get some more blood flow when we're exercising and we're doing patterning. Full body stretch. Arms overhead, reach through your arms, reach through your legs. Should feel so good. And then we are going to let the feet go on the roller again and we're gonna peel our spine up. And if you would like, interlace your fingers underneath your back and just enjoy a sustained bridge. Shut your eyes, go inside, breathe to the front body, strong back body, soft front body. Just enjoy. Let your breath expand. Usually it can go a little bit longer than you think it can. So inhale and just add a little bit longer of a breath than you thought you could. Just enjoy, just let yourself enjoy how bridge feels. Two more slow breaths here. Release your arms, lower your spine. Happy baby. Hug, 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 enjoy. Move as much as you want. All right, now this is a bicycle in the air. Imagine there's a bicycle in the air. That may be all you do. Maybe you take your legs further away from you. That may be all you do. If you would like, come up eight times. Your choice, hands by your side, arms crossed, or hands behind your head. Five more times. Four, try to not kicks, you see, if you see what I mean, you're like, keep it, keep a circle if you can. Do three more, two more, stay up on this next one, and then relax in a bound angle. Let your feet soles, this is another one where if you're working on a concrete floor, it's nice to have your ankles supported. Relax, this is also a great place if you would like a sip. Relax, inner thighs.
five, four, three, two. Now you can stay here. If you would like to add on a reverse plank or bridge, you can put your ankles on top of this roller and put your hands behind you. So if you need to stay there, for example, your wrists just don't love this, uh, you can take this. Fingers towards you, get ready, lift up, reverse plank. The one reason I really like these is because we do need a little bit of wrist challenge every now and then. If you fall, you're not going to fall on your elbow, you're going to fall on your hand, right? So we want some of that wrist challenge to sprinkle in. The other reason I really like this is because it strengthens the back body and it opens up your shoulders and chest. That's usually an area that's drawn forward. So I will sprinkle these in and just do a stretch if it just doesn't serve you. Knees soft. Especially if you know you hyperextend, I'm spreading out my toes. Add on that cue if you can. Four, looking down at those spread out toes. Three, two, and one. Now I'm going to adjust the mat. We're going to get our belly down so that we can do a swan on this roller. Another one of my favorite exercises. Hands are wide, arms are wide, like a Y. Peel up by pushing down through your arms and up and down. Very good. Like it. You check in with your neck, check in with your shoulder blades. Notice you can get a little higher than you could with just the hands on the floor. That's so good. So now enjoy, actually put your mind on how good that feels on the upper back. Without intervention, the spine will get rounded forward. I know you've seen peers, people you've known over the years, they will, you will get rounded. So you want to be able to intervene and create a new pattern. You don't want to accept the social norm that you're supposed to get rounded as we get older. We can stay upright. So you're telling your body, your body will match your self image. So your self image is that you have an, a tall upright posture Now we're going to hold this next one up. We're going to stay up and go inside. If you need to shut your eyes. I usually do better when I shut my eyes because I can focus more inside. Let that breath expand that upper body. Notice how good and normal that feels. Notice how that affects the mood. It's a sense of confidence, of, of ability, of competence. Happiness, joy, expectation, content where you are, happy for the next step. And exhale, lower. Nice. If you would like a child's pose, you can take that now. The uh, change that I'm going to offer is if you want to stretch out your feet. I heard it's 30 some degrees there. So let's say you're wearing boots now. Pull your toes under and stretch out your feet here. And that'll add a foot stretch so that you can get ready for different shoes. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Come back down to your belly, legs long, and then take your arms on that roller. Now lift up your back a little bit. You see how I'm up a few inches? Now I'm just gonna stay there in the upper back. Lift up your right arm and your left leg, lift up your left arm and your right leg, lift up your right arm and your left leg, lift up your left arm and your right leg, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now, if you want it harder, you can lift all the limbs and keep fluttering. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, neck is soft, five, four, three, two, lower back stretch. This time, I'm gonna offer the knee wide. That way your belly has diaphragmatic breath. It's gonna get real big in between the knees, big breath. Big inhale. Diaphragmatically breathing can help create a calming of the nervous system. Expand that belly one more time. And then come back down to your belly. And this time, either hands beside you or interlace and lift up your arms and lift up your legs and breathe. And breathe. 
and breathe. And just ride that wave. Good. Notice where your arms are. They should be in the middle of your tush if your hands are behind you, not deviated to the right or left. Lower and switch your hands or just leave them beside your hips, whichever one you're doing. Go up. Inhale. Building endurance on these muscles whose job it is to keep us erect. Erector spinae. Building bone density. Building a fascial pattern of I have an upright posture. It's normal for me to have an upright posture. I feel better when I'm standing tall. I have more breath, so I have more energy when I'm testing tall. Lower down. Your choice. If you would like to add on, bend the knees and hold on to the feet or the ankles. Good. If you need to child's pose, please do. Or if you're doing that other one, hands beside you, lift up. Enjoy the parts you can. If you notice you feel frustrated with yourself or criticized, let that go or replace it with an appreciation. Here you are doing something good. Lower down, we're gonna do the other foot or the same post again, your choice, go up. Inhale, appreciation. And relax. Now in this child's pose, we're gonna walk our fingertips over to a side. This is also a great place to get water or coffee, like me, coffee with real creamer. Walk it over. Walk it over and feel your ribs stretch out. Pinky to hip. Breathe. And walk it over to the other side. Breathe into your rib cage. Perfect. Gently come back. Good. Did you get a good shoulder stretch there? Uh, hands and knees, and you're going to make a big circle. You can imagine that you have a purple paintbrush on your hips, like a poodle tail. You're just circling the hips and making the biggest purple circle you can behind you. Now go the other way. If we have missed any low back uh, muscles that need attention, this is surely going to get it. And you can do this. Notice how my shoulders are pretty stable. They're over my wrist. I'm just really moving my hips. Now, this is called wag the tail. Lift up your left shin and keep your knee down. It's gonna, you're going to look over your left shoulder to your foot. Look over your right shoulder. Same left foot. Just keep the same left foot off the ground. We'll do the right one in a moment. That's a QL stretch. If you've had any back tightness, this is usually the muscle that needs it. Go a little further than you think you can. And if you need more, please do. I just had a, a, a sensation that someone might need some low back care. Look up your right shin and look over your right shoulder and then look over your left shoulder. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Inhale and exhale. Now. If you would like to add on, curl your toes and lift up your knees and do round back and extension. Round. This is the beast. If you do not want to lift your knees, just do this with the knees down. Four, three, two, and one. 
terrific. Now we're gonna let those be in front of us. A sip if you need. <clears throat> Feet on the roller. I wanna show you a modification which is called partial roll up, partial roll down. You see how modified that is? You see how I don't have to have any of my neck involved really? If you wanna add on, so that's your backup plan. You can go lower if you want to. This is the harder pose. Hands to the head. This is called neck pull officially, but you're gonna hinge and then you roll. Then you're gonna exhale and peel up. Do you see why I gave the modification first? Cause this one's a little harder. Hinge, roll, exhale, peel up. Hinge, roll. Good. All right, three more, enjoy. Two more, enjoy. Flexion, keep in the mind. Engaged in the pattern is going to help with preventing the neural decline and roll. Full body stretch. Let's take that right ankle to the left thigh. Reach your hands through your window. And if you would like to roll a little, you can rock a little. If you want to move your toes, just enjoy this hip opener. I like to sometimes just move the head a little bit. It's like you're releasing any tension in the neck. And just gently focus on your breath. You're a friendly witness to your breathing. Just notice how it feels to go in through the nose, where it goes in your body, to exhale out any thing you don't need, dense energy. Now take it to the other side, ankle to thigh. Toes, ankles. Let your left leg go long. Let your right knee go over. Let your right arm go out like a T or a Y and relax.
Take another inhale. And as you exhale, release. Look, do the other posture. Let your right leg go long. Let your left knee go over. Let your left arm go out here like a T or a Y. Your right hand is helping your knee be down. Let your eyes soft or close and breathing through the nose if you can. Just notice where the breath goes. And it's almost like the breath is breathing you. Just let everything go. I'm just moving you in a little closer. Now when you're let, ready, just let everything go and your arms and legs are long and just sort of shake it out. Release any tension that might be left behind in the body. Most mammals need to release physical tension from their nervous system and muscles. So we're gonna just let us do a free form and do this with the yoga, the Pilates, the dance, the stretching, but just get rid of any tension that's left over and then flop into the ground and just take a moment to feel how wonderful it is to have nothing to do, nothing to figure out, to jump off the merry-go-round of chores and just be in the present moment. Everything will be there when you get back. So just give yourself this gift. And let yourself play with the idea of being focused on the breath. Five cycles of inhale and exhale. As if the breath is breathing you. Your exhale releases you even more. And you're feeling supported nourished, nurtured, peaceful, ease, flow, nurtured, peaceful, ease, flow, supported, nurtured, Ease and flow. Take a moment to inhale that wonderful feeling. And as you're ready, begin to awaken your fingers and your toes and come into a position that is comfortable for you. And let your hands come to your heart. And set an intention. This is called a segment intention. And create that sense of peace, ease, flow for the next few hours of your day so that you're creator as opposed to the reactor. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back in the room with so much care. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Bye, Winner Marty.